KZAM is back. Welcome back. State prisons here in Arizona are changing. Much of their focus turning to educating and rehabilitating inmates while they're being punished behind bars, mm -hmm. giving them skills so that when they're released, they don't come back to prison. And one of those programs is the Televerde Call Center at Perryville Women's Prison in the West Valley. Take a look. This is the Televerde Call Center, a group of workers making business-to-business -business phone calls, selling technology solutions to companies to increase their efficiency and their profits. And while it functions like many similar call centers here in Arizona, there is a stark difference with Televerde. It is inside the walls of Perryville Women's Prison staffed by the women who are incarcerated here, something that's a real privilege behind these fences. The reason for my call today is I would like to discuss some of the recent innovations that we've made to our analytics platform. The fact that I walk out of prison every single day and walk into being a human being, um, it means the most to me because I talk to executives and they ask for my opinion. Hi, my name is Cindy with SAP America. How are you doing today? And after I hung up, it was just that boost of confidence that you really need to keep moving forward. This operation, though, produces more than confidence or just self-esteem. 425 inmates work here, generating over $300 million in revenue every year for well-known Televerde clients like SAP, Honeywell and Adobe. The women here make the initial inroads to sales, then they send out teams of professionals who are not in prison to close the deals. So joining us now is a uh, former inmate, Autumn Moss, who's now a current Televerde worker. Yeah. Autumn, good to see you. Autumn, Thank nice you for being to see you. Here. Welcome. So you are one of the big success stories we were just talking about. So you were released uh, from Perryville in 2016. Mm -hmm. What are you Correct. doing now? Um, a business development, IMR, uh, Inside Marketing Representative for SAP. Oh, so, well, congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Take us back to the beginning of your story. What, what landed you in Perryville in the first place? And what was the life you were leading at that point? So I actually really thought last night of kind of targeting that one thing that kind of tipped the hat on, you know, a series of bad decisions. Um, you know, I, I lost my grandmother and um, I was very, very close to her. And so I think that it's that sense of loss and um, I, I took it really hard. So not only did I lose her, I think I started to really lose myself. Yeah. So um, amongst a, a series of bad choices um, riddled with addiction, I ended up in, incarcerated. And so. how long were you there? Um, I was there for a little over five years. A little okay. five years. Mm -hmm. So you hear about the Televerde program when mm -hmm. you're in there. Uh, you have to be a minimum security inmate, correct? Mm -hmm. So you're, correct. you're getting close to, the, to going out. You've been, a, you've been a good mm -hmm. inmate the whole time, mm -hmm. and this is a privilege to be able to do this. Tell right. us about your yes. introduction to Televerde. Oh, um, so I, I remember when I first saw the group of Televerde girls, the way that they carried themselves. Um, and, and I didn't know at that time that they were with Televerde. But there was just a different caliber of, of women, the way that they, they talked and the way they carried themselves, the way they engaged with everybody on the yard. And um, I said, I want to do what they're doing. I want to be like that. And then I found out that they worked for Televerde. And I said, OK, well, I need to apply. And then you learn life skills. Mm -hmm. And um, tell us about that, the type of things you learned while you were there. Oh, wow. Um, you know, Televerde instilled uh, just this uh, courage um, and this self-worth and um, just this, this feeling of purpose that I didn't have in the past. And uh, I'm just so thankful, you know, between that and then our Arrowette program, which is just helping women transition, prepare for trans transition, and then, um, you know, really mentor them upon release. So. Plus you get out with some money, mm -hmm. right, which helps you to seed money. Right. And, and this program is unique in, in what you do, but we have the Hickman's Egg people, oh, we yes. have Swift Trucking, so there's yes. a lot of uh, prison industries going on mm -hmm. where people behind bars are learning skills Correct. and then yeah. getting out. So how effective mm -hmm. do you think these programs are from your own personal experience? Oh my experience? gosh, they're, they're impaired. I mean, the importance is, is you can't even describe it. Um, you know, we go in and we're broken away from our families. Uh, some have children. We lose hope, you know? I mean, none of us thought, I think, that, you know, hey, we want to go to prison when we get older, when we grow up. I didn't. I didn't at all think that I was going to end up there. So, um, it's, it, it means the world, you know, not only to me, but so many. And I think it just instills us of hope and, and feeling like, you know, we are worth something and, and you know, we, we deserve a second chance. So. Yeah, you do. Congratulations Thank you. Yeah, on your congratulations achievements. Congratulations on Thank all you. your success. Yes. What an amazing transformation and really mm -hmm. great program. Yes. Yes. Nice yes. talking Thank with you. you. Thank you, Autumn. Keep it going. Yes. Keep it rolling. Yeah. All right.